how do you add a picture over a picture inside of Lemonade to create a collage before posting? Well, you can do this inside of Photoshop, Canva, Adobe Express. It's actually incredibly easy to do directly inside of the Lemonade platform. Once you go over to your profile, you're going to click on the little yellow plus sign and you're going to scroll to the image that you want to use as your base image and click the next button. From there, you are going to look at your stickers tab. So this is on the bottom bar. Now, in the future, this might look a little bit different for you. You are smart enough to be able to find your stickers button. But if not, I do have that linked in the pin post and the captions down below as things change. So we're going to go ahead and click on stickers. And from there, you are then going to be able to look at the customize button. Customize is the one that you want. It might look a little different in the future again, but you have the ability to figure that out. And I've got that pinned for you. Now, from there, you're going to be able to tap on the image that you want and you can either crop it. So you can see the little crop tool that will allow you to make it a square to make it something else. You can do this very easily. Once it's ready, you can click the next button and then you can post from there. But there's also another little trick that we're going to be able to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that one right there. We're going to go back down to stickers and click on customize again. Now I am going to go ahead and I am going to pick a different one. This time I'm going to go to the bottom left hand corner and toggle on remove background. When I toggle on remove background, it is going to scroll through my image, pick out the main component, and it is going to cut it out. Now, as you can see, it's not the best at cutting things out. This would be much more efficient inside of Photoshop or one of the other platforms. But for what we're doing inside of the app, this is good enough. Now you do have the ability to add a stroke. If you go ahead and click that button, it's going to outline it in white. For this purpose, I am not going to do it, but it will outline it for you if that's something that you want. When you're ready, I'm going to go ahead and click done. And now I have the ability to adjust this and add this in wherever I want. So if you are going to make it look like it's a realistic scene, so my puppies here are going to look realistic, you want to make sure that you are putting them in the proper size. The puppy is going to be smaller than the full size dog. And we do not want a giant head next to a small head. So be smart about how you do this. So you can add this in however you want. And again, all you have to do is move that around with your finger. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. You have the ability to tap on the corner and you can even rotate these things. It's very easy for you to be able to create whatever it is that you want inside of this platform and make it look like the way that you want very easily inside of Lemonade. When you are ready to go, you then have the ability to click next and it'll take you over where you can then either add in a new image. So if you need a second image in your album, you're just going to click on that plus sign. Otherwise, you're going to be able to add in your caption and your tagline and move forward with that. Now, if you need more uh, uh, help on your Lemon 8 creations, go and let me know what you need tutorials for down below. This is going to be incredibly easy for you to thrive on this platform because because it's brand new, because we don't have a lot of competition right now, this is the time to thrive in your space. So you want to make sure that you are learning how to use the features inside of Lemonade because obviously they're going to push things that are created inside of Lemonade, but it is not the sole purpose of what you should be doing. Most of the content you create, I highly recommend creating outside of the app and bringing it in because it's going to look higher end. It's going to look more professional. It's going to be more functional. And the functions that they have inside of the app are not nearly as built out as you are going to find inside of Photoshop, Adobe Express, or Canva. So if you've got questions on how to do this in app or out of app, go ahead and follow down below and let me know what your questions are. We are continuing to bring you tutorials on how to thrive on Lemon 8, and we're going to be breaking news on new features and functions inside of the platform while we save you time and effort every single week creating your content so you can create more content to make more money but spend less time and stress doing it. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.